Hey guys, in this video, I will briefly show you my new podcast workflow. It basically consists of only two apps, namely Readwise and Snippet. Snippet allows me to capture valuable moments from podcasts and Readwise allows me to integrate that knowledge more into my daily life and my practice so that I won't forget what I hear in the podcasts. And I think the best way is to just show you on my iPhone how it works so you can use it as well. Okay, so I am now in the home screen of Snippet. Make sure to watch this video, by the way, on YouTube or Spotify so that you also see the screen recording here next to me. And what you see is that this app basically works a little bit like other podcast apps, for example, Podcast Addict. So I have some subscriptions, theories of everything, Lax Friedman, Psychedelic Podcast, another few ones, just things I am subscribed to and I listen to. And what you see here is that these are all pretty technical podcasts. So it's not so much entertainment as I really want to learn something from what's being said. And if you're a little bit like me, then there will be some times when you're in the gym or on the go or just for going for a walk and you hear something being said and you think, wow, this is a golden nugget and I really want to retain this information for later. I don't want to forget this, especially, for example, with the Huberman Lab. There's just so much technical stuff in there that I'm never going to remember. So I want to capture those moments and put them somewhere into my second brain or wherever you want to put it so that you can go through it later, right? Now, I've tried to find other solutions for this in the past. For example, I would just stop and I would write down in my notebook whatever was being said, or I would make a summary, or I would even set reminders, or I use the other app to have a, a voice message of what just being said. But this is all very suboptimal, and it also relies on the fact that you have to remember correctly what you, yeah, what was just being said, so you know, you, you, you put the correct stuff there and it interrupts your workflow. So if you're in the car, for example, you cannot do that. Well, this is where Snippet comes in, and this is why Snippet is really great, because what this app allows you to do is it allows you to listen to a podcast, and if you hear something nice that you wanna retain, you just press one button, and then the AI, I think it's ChatGPT, I'm not sure actually, but the AI will then capture that moment and also give you a few takeaways that you can then store wherever you want. I'm just going to give you an example of how this works in practice. And I'm actually going to use a example, a podcast I'm listening to right now. It's called The Science of MDMA and its Therapeutic Uses. And I'm just going to go to a random point in the podcast right here. And then I'm going to press play. Look at the connectivity between the amygdala and the insula and between the hippocampus, the amygdala and the insula. And so what's observed over time in people that have been given MDMA and this is a very important and and have done therapy for PTSD, both before, during and after the drug, there is a weakening of connections between the amygdala and the insula. OK, so that was quite some interesting information. I'm just pressing create snip and now the AI does it work and it's already done. So the snip has been created. The effects of MDMA on brain connectivity in PDS, the therapy. And then you see the green button, view five key takeaways. So if I press the view five key takeaways button, you will then see here, look at this. This, this is quite amazing. You have now five AI generated takeaways from that small part that has just been said. And yeah, of course, this is this is huge because this gives an accurate description of what has being said. And I don't have to interrupt my workflow. I don't have to stop or write down something. It's just made on the go. Now, if I go back, then you can do a few things. So let's see, I press edit. And this uh, is important because here you can adjust or tweak a little bit the actual snippet or snip. I don't, I don't know how to call that. So let's see here. Often we'll feel OK. If you press this, you can here start or end here later. So you can tweak a little bit. And you can do the same for the end. 
well, in this case, it seems that's already pretty accurate. So I'm going to just leave it like that. Then you can also the title here, the effects of MDMA on brain connectivity in PTSD therapy. That is also AI generated. And it also gives you some other suggestions if it's not accurate enough. I always, I think it's 50, 50. Sometimes I just do a little bit of tweaking there, but this, this one is fine. I can add a private note. So this is more here, let's say a recording uh, episode, YouTube. Okay, cool, save. And then add some tags. Now this is for, this is really nice for me because I want, I like to tag my, my, my snips. In this case, it would be neuroscience and psychedelics. Yeah, MDMA is a, a, a new psychedelic. So let's go for that, done. We go back, we're done. And now what you can do, if I go back, I can also, here see, it already goes there, post. This is a new feature in Snip, Snippet. And if I post, then they now have these groups. They're trying to make the whole uh, experience a bit more social. For me, it's not really why I listen to podcasts. For me, it's really to extract knowledge and to shoot it into my own brain, second brain. But here we can do it as well. So let's say um, select the group. And I'm in a few groups here. They're not too big. Here are psychedelics, only 10, 10 members. Let's do this one in neuroscience. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm the others why now, it's fine. Post snip. You haven't added it? Yeah, it's post anyway, it's fine. And now I have posted my snip, my little golden nugget, into the group of neuroscience, and there other people will see it as well. So for example, if you go here, you go back to the home screen, below you have groups and it, this is actually quite cool so it's not again the main reason why i listen to or why you snip it but here you can see what other people are snipping i think <laughs> that's how you would say that so you can see the snips of other people and at in the beginning i was a little bit like yeah this is a, it's, it's a gimmick but now i'm starting to get more used to the idea that it actually it's quite cool because for example, I can follow some people on Snippet and there are some people that I think, man, these guys, they make, or they, I really value how they gather knowledge. And if I see what for them are the most valuable parts in the podcast, that also is of course valuable for me. So I kind of, it kind of gets a group effort to listen to podcasts and to extract that valuable information from it. So it's, it's kind of cool. I, I have to admit that now, but now we get to the, um, the coolest part. So if I go to my profile, you in the bottom there in the dock, then I see my profile. So okay, this is me and I see some of the um, snips that I made in the past, <laughs> mainly Uberman, as you can see, some even have some likes so that you see already, you know, it's getting a bit social. And then we go to the right top corner, we go to settings, and we scroll down. And there we see export and sync. Then you see that there are a few integrations. So it's possible to integrate Snippet with Readwise, Notion, Obsidian, Logsack, Bear, and Markdown. Now, I only use Readwise and Notion. And also Notion, I'm not really using it too much with Snippet. So I, I do go through it sometimes to check all my, my, um, my snips. But that, that's really more advanced, I would say the main functionality is the readwise integration. So if you click on that one, you can integrate it with your readwise, you need a, I think just a linking code, and then it will automatically sync. So what that will do, let me just go through the readwise app. Okay, so I'm now in the readwise app. And readwise is an app that allows you to go through your notes, or your insights that you had from podcasts or books or whatever websites, articles, and it allows you to go through those notes again, based on flashcards. So what it basically does is you sit down at the end or the beginning of a day, and you can say I want five to 15 flashcards of these notes. So every day you do a few flashcards. And by doing that, you allow to sync to integrate that information more into your system and especially for me this is extremely valuable because i used to listen to so many podcasts and i would read a lot of books but i would only remember like one percent right and then i thought yeah what is the purpose of actually reading this book if i'm only going to remember like one percent 
but by doing it this way with Readwise, I am now remembering, I'm integrating all these notes, the things that I think are valuable into my daily practice. So that's really powerful. I'm a very basic user. I'm not using themed reviews, all those things. So in this case, I already did my daily review, but I can do some more highlights. And here, boom, this is a great example here. Huberman Lab, the optimal sauna session length for health benefits. This is from Snippet. So what happened here is that I was using Snippet. I was listening to Huberman to this episode. They were talking about sauna session length. And this, I think, is very interesting. And then I just used the create snip button or I pressed my headset. You can, you can also do it like that. And then this snip was automatically generated. And now it's being already linked into my Readwise. So let's see here, um, the optimal sauna session length. It's 90 minutes per session. It's healthy stress level from heat corresponds to about 10 to 50 minutes, blah, blah, blah. It's you see the whole thing. Now I basically only look at the key takeaways there. And you can also see the entire transcript from snippet is also loaded into Readwise. I not really go through this only like a few times when it's not when I just want a little bit more information from the key takeaways. But you can see here, this is quite amazing because yeah, it's just without any effort from my end, I am now integrating this knowledge into my daily life. Amazing. Maybe another one, another one here again, you and again, the sauna one, you get the idea here. Now, before I forget, because this is important when you use snippet and readwise, you have to make a few little tweaks, or I think just one tweak, actually. If you go to profile, you go to review settings. So this is the second tab. And I was noticing in the beginning, the first week, I didn't see my snippets, snips in Readwise. So I, I thought I did something wrong. But apparently Readwise has a highlight quality filter here below. And you need to turn that off because the highlights that snippet imports Readwise recognizes as low quality and then it will filter that. And I think this is on by default. So make sure to turn that one off and then they will appear in your Readwise. Okay, and that's it. That's my entire setup. It's just two apps. It's very simple to use. It really helps me to retain and store and integrate knowledge better. I am aware also that Snippet is working on some new features. I got a newsletter from them, I think last week, and they said they are also working on AI generated summaries of podcasts. So this is quite cool. I think only Lex Friedman podcast right now has this functionality. But what they then do is they can send you in the app or by email, a summary of the podcast that you just listened to. And again, yeah, if you want to retain and integrate knowledge, that is a very powerful feature. Also, that one is, I think, based by chat G or based on chat GPT-4. I'm not sure again, but you, you make sure to check that out yourself. I've noticed that the accuracy is pretty accurate. It's pretty, pretty good. So that for me is really, really important. And yeah, that's basically it. Make sure to check out the channel or the other episodes above, and I will see you in the next video. Also make sure again to, uh, to like and subscribe and, and that stuff. Okay, see you.